Hey there, fellas. Okay, so today we're gonna have some fun, as we usually do, with this here wheel. To be honest, I just can't get the guys to stop. They're all about making themselves some sick DIY rims. Today we'll be fabricating a wheel, replicating a stock AMG rim, like the one you see right here on this picture. There's really no stopping them. They're just itching to do some welding, and I'm like, sure, by all means. Right, I say we make ourselves something, throw it onto a car, head out to do some testing, see if we get any sort of vibration or wobble. Right, we've got work to do, fellas. Let's get to it. DIY AMG replica wheel made from a steely. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's what we're looking at, fellas. The guys are getting pretty good at this. Looks awesome. All you have to do is take a few steps away from the wheel, and you can barely tell the difference from the original. Well, I mean, sure. If you look closely, you can actually tell that something's off, but at a quick glance, it looks pretty much identical. We even have a cool-looking tab right here which says AMG. We should make OEM wheels for Mercedes. Nah, seriously, this looks fantastic. I love it. You can see the entire hub, the brake caliper, the rotor and everything else. I love the way it looks. It looks just like a factory piece. Right, so we've mounted the wheel. Now it's time to go for a ride and see how it holds up. Whether we've got any wobbles happening, let's do this. Yeah, so 
You can actually feel that when driving at lower speeds, something's not quite... Something's wrong. As if it's... wobbling a bit. I don't exactly know how to describe it. It's as if the tires are poorly balanced. Then again, I mean... It's not that pronounced. It's doing a figure eight. But it's there for sure. No surprises. It is a makeshift wheel after all. That's just how it goes. So I just had a bit of fun going sideways, without going too crazy, of course. But there you have it. The wheel seems to be okay. We are doing well. Now I feel like I can drive around with zero paranoia. Oh man, check it out, it looks great. It's all covered in snow. We did plow through quite a bit of snow. If I were to move over here, looks fantastic. Awesome. And the wheel was even able to handle all of that stress. As for making myself a set of these wheels for everyday driving, I guess it's somewhat, I don't know, feasible? But I wouldn't risk it. And I wouldn't recommend it to you guys either. These wheels didn't go through any sort of certification testing. All we did was drive around a bit. So yeah, I wouldn't do this if I were you. But if you were to make a wheel like this, spray on some paint and decorate your garage with it, that should work. People are gonna ask, what's that? And you can be like, that's 100% original. I'd say this experiment went very well. Lately we've been doing a bunch of these. So yeah, today's experiment was a massive success. I just love how this one looks. Anyway, fellas, that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions. Alright, catch you later.